and the question I was going to have for you was, okay, so you made the transition overseas. You're starting off from ground zero, knowing no one but the people where you're living. Um, and you expressed yourself as an introvert. Did, did it push you out of a comfort zone or did you embrace a new comfort zone? Mm. Well, there, there are some, some assumptions in there that aren't quite accurate. One of the things that really helps me, and I think probably introverts in general, is technology. Mm. Because you have the freedom to almost anonymously start to get to know people, mm -hmm. which is an introvert's dream. Like, you don't yeah. see me, but I, I see you. Now I can decide, hmm, could you... Yeah, does this feel like something that could work or maybe I should avoid that or whatever, get a sense of it. So for me, very early on, this community was my only contact to living human beings on this side of the planet. And I was watching replays because I was in California. So it was even more anonymous. I was getting to know them based on their comments without even them being in the room. Mm -hmm. And I started to get a feel and I, I tend to work energetically with people. So I'm getting certain feelings for folks. And uh, so I reached out to, you know, two or three of them in the community when I got here. Okay. Oh, and now I can make comments, but I wanted to say hi to Hank. Oh, I wanted to, you know, like that. So mm -hmm. reach out and then create, start building from there. So for me, it was a much more comfortable way to get to know someone than a a room full of a hundred people that I didn't know from Adam and trying to mingle and, right. and talk in person with people <laughs> I don't know. And I mean, that, right. never mind. I'll just go sit in the corner and observe for an hour or two. Yeah. So for me, that helped a lot. Uh, also, yeah. Lu Luisa and Sidonio were a function of me meeting Luisa on Facebook six or nine months before I ever got here. Wow. So we okay. had already started a relationship that way. So those are ways that I give people who say, yeah, I tend to be uh, introverted. I don't know how I do. It's like, well, start reaching out before you even mm -hmm. think about leaving. Yeah. You know, find Which community. Mindful choice. Yes. Again, it's all about the mindfulness that will make it easier for you when you get there, you know, because yeah. the fears are, what are you going to miss? Or, you know, oh, family, friends, whatever. It's like, well, let's see if we can create some of those over there so that, it won't be as difficult to leave what I'm leaving behind, that kind of thing. So yeah. that was my answer for me. I think it would work for most people who are introverted, but it does take conscious effort, which it is does. the main Let's thing here. Let's return to that in a little while. Um, on that note, uh, however, Darren says people are not just introvert or extrovert. People have different states. And of course, yes, they are They are a shorthand, yeah. aren't they? And there are nuances, of course. Well, it's, it's a continuum, basically. I mean, it is a personality characteristic. So it's people go, well, I used to be this and now I'm not. I think more they've shifted on the continuum sun than that they're no longer that. So yes. it's not it's not an extreme. You're not all introvert or all extrovert. And if you sit somewhere close to the middle, you might not know. And right. what, what am I? So. Yeah, it looks like that can your state can change according to the Portuguese vodka measures as well. Yes, alcohol will do that. Wild it's here. So that's a real... Yeah. The social lubrication, uh, ocean dweller, Aviva, introvert here. I get it. And this is it, my job is complete. Look at this. Find GMP to become comfortable first. Yeah. Uh, thank That's you so more much. That's more or less it. That's, That's the gist good of it. Advice. Right? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. And uh, Sir Lion H, I saw some of your Facebook postings about some of the cultural business that you're uh, promoting up there in Braga. Please share with us. It looked fantastic. In my point of view, most expats don't socialize much. I find amazing when we go out to lunch, they eat and leave. No one in Portugal does that. <laughs> Meet for a cafe or eat is a, is a, is a way to socialize. Well, there's a, a nice point to be picked up and learned from there. Thank you, Sir Lion H, on that. Really appreciate it. And it depends, too. If they're Portuguese, you might not do that because you're uncomfortable with the language and you, can, you can't communicate. Even if you yes. want to stay and have a conversation, you just don't have the competency to mm -hmm. and you know if they're if they speak your native language or english which is the default um you know i don't know why you might not engage there but as an introvert i would not be inclined to engage strangers no if i don't know you i'm not yeah, going to try to strike up a conversation with you so yeah yeah fair point uh, darren <clears throat> is going to braga uh, on tuesday so maybe there's another GMP friend you've made there. So Lion H will be able to point you in the right direction and even talk to you after you've had lunch together. Or even that? 
and during as well. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Brilliant, Darren. Um, okay, uh, these other matters of what you didn't know. You, I mean, you can't. It's impossible, isn't it, to to learn things from being in the culture without being in the culture. And I just thought that would be an interesting thing. You know, part of what we do here on a Monday, I think, like you did, James, this is watched by people in all around the world afterwards. Most of our views are after recording rather than during. And I think people are making friends, picking up information. And it, I thought it'd be lovely to, to sort of throw something into the time machine. This is what we didn't know we didn't know until we got here to share with people. So, Bob and Viv, did that, did that question um, stimulate anything interesting from, from either of you? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> we learned, well, one of the first things, well, it, we were actually a little slow to this. It took about six months. We learned we had to stay up late or we were going to miss half of what goes on, most of what goes on, actually, entertainment-wise. So yes. we completely changed our sleep patterns, and it's we stay up late now. And mm. during the summer, especially to see everything that's going on, we learned that we could stay up late past midnight, not turn into pumpkins, and we could sleep late in the morning. It works. <laughs> so. One of one of the prime examples of that is uh, we, we had some folks staying with us last summer, who are, are literally world travelers. They live in the Northern Hemisphere in the summertime and in the Southern Hemisphere, you know. Uh, in the winter they stay, they, they stay like warm. hot weather. They stay yeah. warm. And um, so, so they, basically summertime all year long for them. Yes, right. yes. it is. Yes. And, and so they, uh, they caught us one morning and said, hey, did you, did you catch the world of dance last night? Oh no, we were gonna go to that. When, what, <laughs> when is it? Last it's night, over. Last last night. <laughs> we were in bed. <laughs> so we ended up driving because they were telling us how fantastic it was. We ended up driving nearly an hour. By the time we parked, it wasn't an hour to Monsau. To see it. When we could have seen it two yeah. minutes away in the village. We, we could have walked to it. Yeah. So we drove an hour, which was great. And we sat in a wonderful venue with a ca old castle fort wall behind the dancers, all that, but we got home at 2 a.m. because <laughs> because we didn't catch it when it was here, and so we that was that is one of the major culture shifts for us. Yeah, um, and you have to wade yeah. through the Portuguese to find out what's happening where you live, but it's well worth it because they bring in fabulous entertainment and social things and cultural things, but you have to find out about them and where they are. Yeah. So, yes. it, but it's well worth it. And it, it took us about six months to learn that, but we did. So yeah. now we keep up. That's, that's a <laughs> couple of have... things. That's yeah. a couple of things there, isn't it? Is, is finding out about things. Oh, yes. yes. Finding out about things and then uh, adjusting your pattern, your, your, yes. uh, mm -hmm. you know, your yeah. bio your daily rhythms to suit yeah. the new, yeah. new Portuguese life. Yeah. Yeah, right. amazing. Okay. Anything else? Um, don't fight the weather. That was um, one of our first yeah. first realizations and choices. You okay. will lose yeah, if you yeah. do. You will lose. Yeah. There's we'll no lose. winning that battle. Yeah. Our, right. our initial house, and if people need to be aware of this, so we had the had the rental arranged and all that. And hello, Saul. Had, uh, had everything arranged and we got here, well, the um, property manager had not aired the house out for who knows how long. Months. Yeah. Um, we, we walked in, it was in December. It was cold. And the sheets were damp, yeah. Oh, it felt like the sheets had just come out of the washing machine and been put on the bed. You know, yeah, yes. they were wet. And, yeah. and we were tired, so we, okay. <laughs> Um, but we, and you know, got a fire going the next day. I don't think we got one that night. Yeah. But anyway, the wood was wet. We very, very soon decided, okay, I'm going to do a mental adjustment. I'm going to breathe it in, reset for where I am, and accept that the humidity is real. And in a stone house that hasn't been aired out for months, it's going to stay real. Mm -hmm. And um, we actually, when we finally warmed up the place, um, it started raining inside from the condensation on the on the on the ceiling. Yes, <laughs> the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. So woke up one morning, 
how come my feet are wet? <laughs> it had soaked through the bed. And so it was here and there. But it, it wasn't something we chose not to get upset about it. Yeah. Because it wasn't going to do us any good. So we learned what to do. Open the windows. Uh, just just there, keep a fire going. And, and put it a helped. on. It took a while. Yeah. Get the air And moving. then in the summer, at the first heat wave last May, I don't do well in heat. I don't like it. Extreme heat. And it, I that first night, I couldn't sleep. It was so hot. So we learned after that one to use the shutters the, the way, way the, the Portuguese, Portuguese do. Yeah. So we run around closing shutters on hot days, just as the sun's coming in that side of the house, mm -hmm. opening them on the other, opening the windows. And we bought a ceiling fan and a stand fan, and it made all the difference. Mm -hmm. From then on, it could be 35 degrees, and I was comfortable. We we also no, just like would... We'd yeah. go to the beach too. We yeah. also would just go to the beach. It's like I whatever we had planned that day, like it's hot. We're going to the beach. Yeah. And it's cool there. It's comfortable, even in that kind of heat, to just walk and sit on the beach. So yeah. that's what we did. Love key it. Phrase there. Beautiful key phrase. Do what the yeah. Portuguese do. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. They know they've go got figure. Their stuff down. They've lived here in this Part what? of the world for thousands of years. They actually yeah, have a way of living you know, here. Yeah. yeah. Right. I've, got, I've got to let this boy touch a button here. He's trying okay. to. Okay. So, so, push a button and then go and find mummy. So, which one are you going to press? No, not the, on the keypad. On one, <laughs> Exit. On, push push yeah. one. Bye. Yes, I have got something in here. Right. Well done. Good boy. You, you pressed the crickets button, which Mummy said was the World Economic Forum lunch uh, on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Um, see you later, Sully. Um, yeah, this is wonderful. Thank you. And yes, do what the Portuguese do. Be Portuguese about it. That's Luisa's yes. hand. She and, gave uh, us a hand. <laughs> she sure did. Well, and, and you know what? There's a, there, there is a weather forecast inside the continent as you walk in any time, isn't there? What's that? Mm -hmm. I mean, my hair brushed now as though I'm being pollinated. <laughs> With a, with a paintbrush. Hair and makeup is there. Do you mind? Um, Little colour. Wa walk into the <laughs> continent and the clues are there, aren't they? The oil-filled radiators for sale at a certain time of year. The stand fans, as you said, there's certain times yes. of year. The, yes. the charcoal. It, the, the clues are there when you walk into continent. Yeah. Right. These get, people are going to be doing in the next few weeks. So right. there they are. Thank and, you, Bob and Bib, for this. Yeah. The dehumidifiers. Yeah, yep. come out. We, 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 <laughs> Buy a dehumidifier whether you think you need it or not. Yeah, It'll yeah, change your life. It will change your life. At, yeah. at least up here. It, yeah. it, and we, we have friends that were here clear through their first winter without and um, finally bought one going into the second winter. And they're like, wow. What I is had no idea. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Yes, I tried to tell you. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so that's a couple of things. Thank you, Darren. Saying you need to carry cash. Uh, that's a good. That's that's a yeah. good one as well, isn't it? Didn't okay. know he didn't he'd need he'd need to do that. Of course, we have a a, a world class uh, electronic payment system that's linked to the taxation yeah. system here. Mm -hmm. However, not everybody is part of it, and it's good to carry. I would say at least two cards and some cash in your wallet. Mm -hmm. So you've got options, uh, unless you like a walk. Uh, and put, and the Portuguese business are fine about it, are they? No time, multibanco. Ah, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry, I haven't got any cash. Go to the machine down, down there. there. Yeah, yeah, we've run into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah, yeah. several times. Yeah. Go find a bank machine. <laughs> and you yeah. don't have to leave, you don't have to leave a child or a, an expensive no. watch, do you? It's like, fine, come back with your money and just yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll set your goods back here to the side. You know, yeah. well, sometimes they let us take it with it. They, the mechanic let us oh, drive yes. up in our car, and we hadn't yeah. paid him because we didn't carry that much cash. Yeah, and uh, it was like, okay, <laughs> so, come back tomorrow whenever it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. wonderful. All right. so, yeah, that that's another. That's one of the delightful things here is is the trusting nature that we find, um, and uh, uh, our 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 general even even back in. In uh, we were in the mountains of Colorado, and it's it's, it's like um, people who trust you can be trusted. People who don't trust you, then I'm going to be more careful. Uh, you know, Very cautious. You need to be yeah, careful. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Well and said. and people are more more than once I've ended up 
just just bring it back tomorrow just just pay me tomorrow you know no worries yes. and um it's it's a a um the energy in that i guess i would say yeah uh, in in that kind of give and take it, it is just phenomenal um, yeah it, it really is if I may repeat a story as well from Dan, who's wonderful fried chicken we had yesterday and we spoke to on Friday as a young sailor, a naughty young sailor, you might say, I think in the eighties or nineties visiting Lisbon, uh, they ran out of money. They had a good time in Lisbon as young sailors do. They needed to get a taxi back to the, to the ship and they were in a taxi, didn't have any money. And um, as they got to where they were going, they were going to get out of the taxi and do a runner basically. And the taxi driver heard what they said. And said, "Wait, and they must have, the atmosphere must have changed. It must have been pretty running pretty high anyway in the back of that yeah. taxi with these young sailors." But the taxi driver turned around and said, "Don't run. If you if you get out of here and run, they'll think you've robbed me. You, mm -hmm. I know you haven't got any money. You don't have to pay me, but don't run." And that to me was just like such a heartwarming. I mean, the guy's come back and he's paying his debt now <laughs> to Portugal. Yeah. It's yeah. so beautiful, isn't it? You know the. Yeah. That 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 spirit. I mean, the guy faced the fact that I'm not going to get any money here, but I'm oh, certainly not going to let these boys get into trouble mm -hmm. as a result of these shenanigans here. So I, I just thought that was great. so beautiful and another great illustration of, of Portuguese yeah. culture. So thank you so much for being so thoughtful about this. Anything else? I mean, James, you might want to come back in as well. Well, as we're talking, as uh, it was difficult for me to think, oh, what is it that I didn't know that I didn't know? because I have trouble staying on that track and go to other logic conversations that have nothing to do with it. So the conversation helped me. Um, clearly humidity was something I didn't know that I didn't know. I th it's one of, it's, there's another category, what you think you know. Like, I don't think we talk about that one. You think you know, but you're wrong. Like there's yeah. that one too. Mm -hmm. um, I had no idea what it meant to live in a humid environment. Um, I, I knew what, what it was like to be in a hot, humid environment, as I had spent some time in the tropics and knew and I, I do not like that. I didn't realize there was such a thing as cold and humid. I didn't realize that. As, uh, logically, of course there is. But uh, so the ambient temperature is warmer than the actual Feel. you know yeah, the, yeah they, they call wind chill in some places you know the, because the wind is blowing but because there's moisture in the air it's actually probably five degrees fahrenheit cooler than what the ambient temperature says on the thermometer yeah. so i say i was looking at the thermometer thing going oh you know 65 fahrenheit that's livable you know the, and it's like ah, it's cold. It's like fifty nine. It's like sixty degrees. It isn't sixty five. I can used to keep my house at sixty seven for the environment. And again, this is all Fahrenheit. But um, it's like no, it's different when it's humid and cold. So you have yeah. to just you have to just how you're going to manage that, the kinds of sheets you're going to use, what you're going to do to regulate it, the temperature in your house, all those things that I didn't know because I'd never. California is not a humid state. It's just not. Mm -hmm. um, so that was new. So along with that came the do it like the Portuguese do. Yeah. I never understood why people changed out their wardrobes seasonally. Like, what's that mm -hmm. about? Just why don't they just, it seems like a lot of bother. Just keep it hanging in your closet till you need it. Mm -hmm. Oh, because if you leave your summer clothes in your closet, they're going to get mildewy and they're going right. to get stinky. And by the time summer comes along, you're not going to want to put them on. Right. So you store them in a place and you do it in a certain way that they don't get contaminated with mold and mildew. Right. All of a sudden it's like, oh, now I understand why so much of the world does that. It yeah. just wasn't my little place in the world. So or those you things. Yeah. I was going to say, or you have a dehumidifier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The and, 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 still change out. Well, Bob doesn't because he wears the same thing all the time. He has oh, a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> I well, my you know, for me, I'm regulating it again by just ventilation. I've learned okay. that, oh, if you can get the air to circulate, whether it's fans or open windows or whatever, that makes a huge difference in humidity and the impact that it has. You don't get it raining indoors if you've got some kind of a air moving. It doesn't happen that way, right? So, yeah, I, so 
fortunately, I have one of the rare places that has actual screens on the windows, so I can actually open a window oh, nice. and I'm not inundated with bugs coming into my window. Oh, it's that time of year. It's that yeah. time of year. We're reminded of that. And the little flies, the really annoying ones that like to clamp onto your face are here at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm aware that we're coming up to 10 o'clock. That has flown by this morning. Doesn't um, it, we, we need to check in with you, Bob and Viv, about uh, your latest adventures and um, the, what you're doing to help people move to Portugal. So can you give us a quick update on that, if you don't mind? We certainly can. Uh, we're continuing to network, build a network of people that we can visit whenever we have clients come over. We're still working towards being able to welcome people um, on exploratory visits. Um, we've developed a uh, survey of questions, pre-questions, that kind of thing, to get a feel for what people want, um, what they're really looking for. And uh, so we're still moving forward to um, build a, a trip from, from north to south of Portugal and, and show the highlights of the people, the places, uh, the culture, um, and the immigrants who've done it. Uh, we're building connections with businesses that actually help in the move so they can make those connections while they're here. And uh, the idea is they, it's kind of like James was saying about the Gumper community and, and it's, it's people, some of the people from this community that we're, we've already talked to about, you know, can we stop and visit you? Can you answer questions about your move? And so we're still moving forward with that. Uh, zeroing in on the name, the the uh, Gmail on the on the page is uh, one of the easiest ways to get a hold of us still. Um, but that's we had, we thought we had one more Monday before this program, so we thought we'd have it all in place. By next Monday, I think we'll have yeah. the website and everything up. So, so oh, yeah. excellent! Well, you can pop it anyway. You don't have to wait the whole month. I'm yeah. I'm oh, looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've loaded up some of your photos here. Um, and there's they Bob. are friends. there. You go. There is Bob in the cowboy hat. <laughs> there it and is. There's, there's more. There's more friends you've made in Portugal, right there, as oh, well. Yes, these these yeah. are wonderful. Oh, but I'm just realising that there, there are, is that Heather there? That's Heather. That's Heather. Yeah. Heather's there as well. Boots on the ground. Great picking. Bob, Bob was helping with the great service. Yeah. Is that about some of the housing? That, is that, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> This is just a tiny. Fr oh, uh, this is just a. This is just a tiny fraction. Kiwi porn. Of Kiwi porn. <laughs> Kiwi porn. <laughs> so, yes, I can send that to you directly if you want that. New Zealanders. <laughs> Look at this. This is just a tiny fraction, though, isn't it? Of oh, there yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny, tiny amount of the wonderful times mm. you've had here in Portugal, and what yeah. you want to introduce to other people. So, website coming out uh, in this following weeks. We'll pop back, pop back next week sometime, and and, and, okay. and let us okay. know we will. Uh, what's going on with that. So great to see you. Um, we've got the you. wonderful Benjamin Stubbs joining us after ten. He's not here yet though, so we can still hang out a little bit more. I don't want to rush you away, Sarah. Okay. Yeah, here as well, and some e lovely extra comments, um, Darren. It's difficult to get some tasks done. For example, the energy company into my name, they ask for all sorts of documentation. Yeah. Uh, Joao F, um, you just got to go with that sort of flow. Global Nobles, good morning to you. I've learned how to be real fast putting groceries in a bag. Now, that's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? You, when you're in, in, one, in like a Lidl or an Aldi and those groceries are flying down the uh, mm -hmm. conveyor belt there, I don't think anyone actually minds, do they? It doesn't have to be like the Kentucky yeah. Derby with everyone being yeah, no, in line. I think it's an American thing. You know, oh, don't take really up the time. They yeah. no time. Don't have a conversation. Don't stay away. long. Get get like, yeah. no, Isn't that amazing? <laughs> this is what maybe what you were talking about, James. There are thoughts you bring with you, like I yeah. better hurry up here. So you're bringing yeah. your kind of New Yorker thing, possibly not you, Global Nobles, but like, come on, hurry up, man! <laughs> you know, you're holding up the line. That's right. Yeah. We're all yeah. <laughs> but Portuguese people, I mean, one general rule is when it's your turn, it's your turn. Everyone yeah. else has to wait, right? Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. You, well, and the visual, the visual energy shift of yeah. that, you know, from that to Portuguese is, oh, yeah. So my daughter, she's got a new job and, uh-huh, and then they stand and talk and then they'll take something else, put it in the bag. How's your mom? Oh, she's great. Yeah. So yeah. do as the Portuguese do. Yeah. There will be Portuguese in the line who wish it would hurry, but they're not going to shout at someone to hurry it up. No. No. Yes. I, well, I like what Joao is saying there. Yeah. Um, 
never never looked at no always looked at at the people as as actually i i, I admirable <laughs> of the portuguese joel admirable of the portuguese approach to life mm -hmm. yeah and it has just it just it, it takes it down a level it, it just takes the angst down a level mm -hmm. um and it's that experience we've been watching mm -hmm. that 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 we just keep anytime we have a question we just look around you know it's like yeah. learning how to operate the shutters for the heat mm -hmm. um what no, do the portuguese we, do it's it's a good question we, we have, ask it all the time what would the portuguese do but yeah. we ask it out of admiration oh yeah, yeah. Self total admiration you it's folks, like they know what they're doing i'm gonna do yeah. what they do. Exactly. Yeah, like why am so, I trying to recreate what I know from a place yeah. that's completely different? Why don't I do it the way these people do? So I saw the comment earlier about when in Rome do as the Romans do. It's a, yeah. that mentality, sure. Well said. Yeah. Right, let me just, it's three minutes past 10. I'm not going to finish you off here, so to speak. I'm going to bring Benjamin on now and we'll make